Jesus Christ came to save the world from sin. Jesus Christ came in the land of Israel and he died some years ago on the cross. He broke upon him the punishment for sin. And this is the reason why we believe in Jesus Christ. Because we believe he forgives us from our sin. We believe that he shows compassion to people. He shows compassion to sinners. And let me tell you something, no, no. This is the day to know Jesus Christ. This is the day to embrace Jesus Christ. This is to, the day to know that Jesus Christ is still yesterday, today, and forevermore. Now is the time to understand that Jesus Christ is alive. And Jesus Christ wants to give you hope and an expected end. Jesus Christ wants to give you purpose in life. Jesus Christ wants you to be with Him in the kingdom of God. The Bible says, What would have thought the man if he gains the whole world but loses his soul? It's important that your soul stays in the hands of Jesus Christ. The Bible says God will never disappoint you. God will never fail you. I cannot remember the last time God disappointed me. But one thing I know, that Jesus Christ is love. One thing I know, that Jesus is alive. One thing I know, that Jesus cares for the world. And that is the reason why Jesus Christ died on the cross. Jesus Christ came to save the world. Jesus Christ came and he hung on the cross. That whosoever comes to him shall be cleansed of sin. Shall be washed from sin. We have a clean slate in Jesus Christ. There is no condemnation to them that in Christ Jesus. Jesus Christ came to save the world from sin. The Bible says that the devil comes to kill. The devil comes to destroy. The devil comes to mess up your life. But for this reason, Jesus Christ came that you can express life to the full. Life to the full, not in them. Let me tell you something, not in them. Jesus Christ wants to give eternal life. A place of Him. A place of Him in eternity. Jesus Christ wants to give you hope. A place of Him. Not in them. The greatest thing you can ever do is to come to Jesus Christ. The greatest thing you can ever do is to know Jesus Christ. The greatest thing you can ever do is to believe in Jesus. This is the time to know Jesus Christ. This is the time to understand who Jesus Christ is. Because the time is ticking. Let me tell you something. There comes a time in life where no money can change your life. No money can take you to heaven. Let me tell you something. I've done it all. Let me tell you something. I've had money. I've had money. I've had money. Let me tell you something. There are days I could, I could spend 600 pounds a month. Let me tell you something, there's nothing compared, there's nothing compared to Jesus Christ. Money is nothing compared to Jesus. Qualification is nothing compared to Jesus Christ. Your relationship is nothing compared to Jesus Christ. Let me tell you something, not enough. There's a name I know. There's a name that makes the broken heart to me. There's a name that set the heart free. There's a name that's, that is able to heal. There's a name that saves lives. There's a name that does not lives. The name is Jesus. The name is Jesus, not enough. Let me tell you something. The name is Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Many people are searching for answers. Many people are looking for answers. This is the time to know Jesus Christ. This is the time to come to Jesus Christ. It has never been about religion, but it's been about the kingdom of God. It's about the righteousness that is in the kingdom of God. The Bible says, oh my God. The Bible says that the kingdom of God is not just about eating and drinking. But the kingdom of God is about joy, peace and righteousness in the Holy Ghost. The Holy Ghost is the Spirit of God. And when the Spirit of God lives in inside of you, the Bible says that you will direct you into all truth. Now is the time to know the truth. Because the truth shall set you free. The truth will enable you to understand the things of God. The Bible makes us to understand. God bless you. Now is the time to know. Now is the time to know the truth. We are in the last days when there's so many things happening. The Bible says these are the beginning of birth pain. Let me tell you something, not enough. The Bible says in this latter day, the many will go cold off the pain. We can see today that many people are turning away from Jesus Christ. But let me tell you something, not enough. This is the time to return to Jesus. This is the time to know Jesus Christ. Because let me tell you something. Your intellectual reasoning won't take you to heaven. Your education won't take you to heaven. Your money won't take you to heaven. Oh my God, let me tell you something. Pride will not take you to heaven. Your work cannot take you to heaven. 
your mom or your dad cannot take you to heaven. Only Jesus Christ can take you to heaven. The government with all his money and all his power cannot take you to heaven. Let me tell you something, not enough. There's only one person that can take you to heaven. And that is Jesus Christ of Nazareth. No money can take you to heaven. Let me tell you something, not enough. That even rich people in the world that commit suicide. That even rich people in the world that uh, drink alcohol. And they die because they sold me. And they tell me this. The money cannot satisfy. But what can satisfy the love of God? What can satisfy? Jesus Christ. Let me tell you something, not enough. Jesus Christ is good. Jesus Christ is great. And when you come to Jesus Christ, your life will never ever be the same again. We know that Jesus Christ changed his life. We know that Jesus Christ cares. We know that Jesus Christ loves. Let me tell you something, not enough. Jesus loves you. Jesus cares about you. If Jesus Christ did not love you, he wouldn't have come from heaven. If Jesus Christ did not love you, he wouldn't have died for the sins of the world. The greatest thing you can ever do is to open your arms to Jesus Christ. When Jesus Christ is knocking your heart, oh, align with your heart, not in them. This is the time to embrace Jesus Christ. This is the time to come to Jesus Christ. I don't know of a greater hour. I don't know of a greater moment that, than to believe in Jesus. Hallelujah. I get excited because I know Jesus. I get excited because Jesus Christ has changed my life. I get excited. Why? Because some years ago, I used to be suicidal. Some years ago, I used to be homeless and I used to be, oh my God, jobless. But let me tell you something, not enough. I put my trust in Jesus and he has changed my life. And this Jesus Christ has changed my life can do the same for you and even more. Let me tell you something, not enough. This is the time to come to Jesus Christ. This is the time to know Jesus. This is the hour, not in them. This is the time to come to Jesus. Some people say that Jesus Christ is just a prophet. Some people say he's just a good man. Some people say he's the rabbi. Some people say all kinds of words. But I came to tell you something. That Jesus Christ is the son of the living God. Jesus Christ is God in the flesh. Justified in the spirit. Seeing the angels preached among the Gentiles. All in the world received up in glory. This Jesus Christ that went up in heaven. One day he's coming back again. And when he's coming, he's coming as the judge. And let me tell you something, not enough. Which side will you be on? Will you be on God's side? Or will you be on the devil's side? Will you be on the kingdom of darkness? Or will you be in the kingdom of heaven? Let me tell you something. The Bible says, brought is the way that leads to destruction. But now is the way that leads to now is the way that leads to eternal life. Broad is the way that leads to destruction. Many people are following the broad way that leads to destruction. My God, my God. But Jesus Christ came that we can walk on the narrow path that leads to eternal life. This is the time to embrace eternal life. The Bible says that through Jesus Christ, we have the free gift of God, the free gift of eternal life, life with God in eternity. It is not just about living today, but it's living for eternity. Did you know that? Did you know that, Nottingham? Did you know that? It is not just living for today. It is not just living for tomorrow. But it's about living for eternity. Many people don't even know what tomorrow may be. In some countries, you don't even know because there are bombings and everything happening. You can get killed any day. But let me tell you something, Nottingham. This is the hour to come to Jesus Christ. Because you don't know what tomorrow may be. And so many people think that tomorrow is in their hands. So many people think that life is in your hands. But God is the one that can take your life any time, any second. He's the giver of life. God is the giver of life. God is the giver of life. And let me tell you something. Pride won't take you to heaven. Your ego won't take you to heaven. Your selfish ways won't take you to heaven. Let me tell you something. So many people are selfish in life. So many people are selfish. But let me tell you something. That is why Jesus Christ came. That you can experience, oh my God, you can experience total love, total freedom in Him. Total freedom in Jesus Christ. When Jesus Christ came, He fed 5,000 of people. When Jesus Christ came, He healed the sick, He raised the dead. When Jesus Christ came, hallelujah, praise the name of the living God. 
There are demons acted out of people. Let me tell you something, not enough. There is power in the name of Jesus. There is power in the name of Jesus. Jesus Christ, when he came, he walked upon the water. No human being can walk upon the water. Let me tell you something. When Jesus Christ came, he laid hands on the blind and the blind could see. He prayed for the leprous and the leprous were healed. He prayed for the he prayed for the deaf and the deaf were healed. And that is why we speak about Jesus Christ. Because we know the truth. That Jesus Christ is power. That Jesus Christ is alive. alive. Jesus Christ is alive. Jesus Christ is alive, not in him. And when you come to Jesus Christ, you become alive in him. The Bible says that the Spirit of God rose Jesus from the grave. The Spirit of God rose Jesus from the grave. The Bible says that Jesus Christ died on the, on the cross and he gave up the ghost. He paid a punishment for sin and Jesus Christ shed blood. Jesus Christ was beaten. He was beaten all day long for something that he never did. Jesus Christ never sinned, but we sin before God. We sin every single day. Our forefathers sin. You're good, yeah? Our forefathers sin before God. And as a result, we, we have experienced the consequence of sin. But Jesus Christ came to reconcile us back to God. Jesus Christ came to restore us back to God. Jesus Christ is a restorer. Jesus Christ is a healer. I don't know what your situation is, but when you put your trust in Jesus Christ, He will heal that situation in your life. He will transform your life. I don't know what your predicament is, but one thing I know not enough, when you believe in Jesus, when you come to Jesus Christ, you can dare to believe the impossible. I didn't come here with my own accord, but I came because of Jesus Christ. And I know what I'm speaking about. The media won't speak about Jesus. Oh my God. But I came in today to speak about the truth. Let me tell you something, not enough. In some countries, you cannot even speak about Jesus Christ. But let me tell you something, I came to speak about Jesus Christ. And I don't care if people may insult me. I don't care if people may laugh at me. But one thing I know, that Jesus Christ, it's the one that can change your life. Jesus Christ. It's the one that can save your life for eternity. I know the one thing, not none. Time is running out. Time is running out. You just have to read the Bible and you know for yourself that something is happening. Let me tell you something. It is obvious. It is obvious that something is happening in this last day. It is so obvious, not in none. Nobody has to tell you that something is happening. We can open the news and we know that something is happening. We just have to read and we know that something is happening. Why? Because the Bible does not lie. People lie, but the Bible does not lie. The government won't tell you the truth. People may not tell you the truth. But I came to let you know that the truth is in the word of God. Why? Because Jesus Christ cannot lie. Jesus Christ cannot sin. There's never time that Jesus Christ sinned. Let me tell you something, not enough. The truth has to be told. And when you know the truth, the truth will make all the difference in your life. Because there's power in the name of Jesus Christ. And I'm just a young person, let me tell you something. I'm just a young person. But one thing I know, I know something about Jesus. I know something about Jesus Christ that can make all the difference in your life. You don't have to struggle no more. You don't have to be in sin no more. You don't have to be in that predicament no more. You can come out of that sin. You can come out of the predicament when you trust in Jesus Christ. Because in the year 2001, that is what I did. I came to Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ spoke to me. Let me tell you something. I have a real experience with Jesus Christ. And let me tell you something. It may sound like foolishness to you. But one thing I know, that Jesus Christ is alive. One thing I know, the people say that God does not exist. Prove to me that God does not exist. But I can prove to you that God exists. Because the Spirit of God lives in the inside of me. And I can double dare you today that Jesus Christ is alive. Let me tell you something. There are billions of people around the world that have experienced Jesus Christ. People were prostitutes and now they're, they are no more prostitutes. There are people that were alcoholics and now they're no more alcoholics. Let me tell you something. There are people that were so much on heroin and crack and now they're no more crack cocaine. Let me tell you something. If Jesus Christ is not real, 
How come their lives have been changed? How come their lives have been transformed? And even me, I used to be addicted to pornography. I used to be a homosexual. But let me tell you something. God has changed my life. God has transformed my life. And one thing I know, He breaks the power of sin. Because sin takes us away from God. Sin takes us away from God. But let me tell you something, not now. God has saved my life, and that is why I know I'm straight to the glory of God. Let me tell you something. The media won't tell you the truth about Jesus Christ. But I came to let you know that there's power in the name of Jesus Christ. If Jesus Christ is not real, if Jesus Christ is not real, I should be still a homosexual. I should be still addicted to pornography. But I gave it to Jesus. I gave it to Jesus Christ and he has transformed my life and he broke the chains of addiction and he saved my life from this Have you seen Jesus Christ? And let me tell you something. Have you seen Jesus Christ? No, I'm just asking you. I experienced death. Jesus. I know Jesus Christ. And let me tell you something, not that I'm, I won't lie to you. Do you see anybody giving me money? No, 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 no. But I came because I know Jesus Christ. And he's greater than money. He's greater than fame. Jesus Christ is more than all the money in the world together. <laughs> let me tell you something, not that I'm, even rich people, rich people with all the money, with all the money that they have, don't they die? Don't they die? If money was the answer to life, why do rich people have so much money and they kill themselves? But let me tell you something not enough. There's a name that they answer. There's a name that makes them possible possible. And his name is Jesus Christ. The name of Jesus Christ. It's very real. It is so real, not known. And when it fills your heart, my God, you will experience, I'm telling you, real love. Not this conditional kind of love. I'm talking about the real love of God. The real love of God. Real love comes from God. It doesn't come from a human being. A human being cannot give you real love. But real love comes from God. And this love I'm talking about is the love of Jesus Christ. The love of Jesus Christ that has no boundaries. The awesome love of Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ came. And Jesus Christ came. And Jesus Christ came. And Jesus Christ came. And he hung himself on the cross. And Jesus Christ died on the cross because of our sin. He died for the sins of the world. And that is why you can come to Jesus Christ. And He will redeem you from your sin. He will change your life. He will fill your heart with the Spirit of God. 
And when Jesus Christ touches your life, nobody will have to tell you that God is real. When you have a real experience of that, nobody would have to tell you that God is real. When you have a real experience with the Spirit of God, nobody will tell you that God is real. And that is why I came here today. Because you can experience God right now. I came today because you can experience God right now. I came today because you can experience Jesus Christ right now. I came today because you can experience Jesus Christ this very moment. When you open your heart to Jesus, He will fill your heart right now. That is what I'm talking about. I'm talking about the Spirit of God. I'm not talking about magic. I'm talking about the Spirit of God. I'm talking about the living God. He's not a dead God. He 